Google Earth gets a big makeover. Netflix wants you to take a survey, and you can tell your grandparents that Woolworths is back. It's Tuesday, February 3rd. I'm Natalie Del Conte, and it's time to get loaded. Google Earth 5.0 launched on Monday, and there's a lot to get excited about. It now lets you explore the deep blue sea right from your computer with pictures of the ocean and 3D underwater movement, along with information on environmental data and climate change. With Google Earth, you can now see more of the world than ever. Dive below the surface of the ocean. It also features historical imagery, which lets you view pictures from years back. Try it out on your own neighborhood. And one of the coolest new features is a collaboration with NASA that lets you leave Earth and explore a 3D map of Mars. Select Mars from the toolbar in Google Earth, and you can tour the red planet with high-res images and 3D terrain. Would you pay an extra $10 a month to stream HBO shows and movies? Well, Netflix wants to know that. I know times are tough and all, but the company's asking customers whether or not they would splurge the extra cash to watch shows like Entourage, Big Love, and Curb Your Enthusiasm. I've been apologizing to people since I'm six years old on a daily basis. If the Netflix watch instantly feature wasn't enough to convert you into a loyal customer, this might be it. Hello, Larry David On Demand. If you don't have $179 to pay for a D1, you can now pay in installments. ZDNet gave details about this new plan this week. It lets you pay for the G1 in four installments if your credit is good. Of course, financing your gadgets, not always the most prudent financial decision, but if you need a phone and you're short on the cash, it's a nice option to have. Sprint and Motorola announced the Stature i9 this week, which is basically the Razer with push to talk. The only upgrade to the Razer besides push to talk is the camera, weighing in at 3.1 megapixels with high intensity flash and autofocus. It also has GPS. We don't have a price or a release date just yet, but you can sign up to be notified when it becomes available at SprintEnterprise.com slash Stature. Another phone that we have few details about is the new Samsung with a 12 megapixel camera. This is supposed to launch at the Mobile World Conference in Barcelona in a few weeks. We don't even have a name for it yet, but it will jumpstart the camera megapixel race that seems to have been stalled. Although, of course, it isn't always the megapixel that makes the picture, but I wouldn't say no to more rather than less. Woolworths is being reborn as an online store. The retailer that's sort of a drugstore slash Target collapsed last month, but it will relaunch as an online store sometime this summer. The brand was purchased by Shop Direct, which is Britain's biggest home shopping retailer. I can't tell if it will launch as an international store or UK only. I hope it is international though so that we can buy things from across the pond like mincemeat and vitamins. Doctors may soon be able to detect early signs of Alzheimer's using RFID technology. Researchers at the University of South Florida have begun using RFID chips to track the movements of elderly people. If they detect symptoms such as aimless wandering, veering suddenly, and repeated pausing, they can test for Alzheimer's to try to target the disease early. Of course, aimless wandering and veering suddenly are not the only indicators of Alzheimer's, but they're a good indication. At least I hope they're not the only indicators, because if they are, I might have that. Those are all your headlines for today, but I will see you tomorrow with more. Thank you for watching. I'm Natalie Del Conte with CNET TV, and you've just been loaded.